for the morning. There's a leaf blower going on in the back. I'm in Guanzhiling today. It's kind of like Gu Guan, how it's like not a very well known like spot, especially for tourists um, and even like locals. But I am here today because it is another spot for hot springs. We are on our third, this is our third type of hot spring. So what's special about the hot spring in Guanzhiling is that it is a mud hot spring. But there's also another attraction here that I really want to see. It's like this cave where there's natural gas, so there's always a fire there, like next to the hot spring. So I really want to go see that. I have read online that it is kind of underwhelming when you actually see it in person. So. Don't get your hopes up, but I do want to go see it. The goal is to go there and then go to the hot spring resort and probably spend most of my day there before I head back to Jai. Transportation getting here was a little bit rough to like coordinate. So I was looking into like day tours and stuff. A lot of the tours actually, they start out in Tainan or Kaohsiung, which is interesting because it's more those cities are more south and i understand that they're bigger cities but guanzilin is actually closer to jiayi city by bus it was only an hour i'll talk a little bit more about the public transportation that i took to get here and also to that i plan to take to get around after i have like done it all one thing to note about this area is there's also a lot of hiking trails around here so if that's your thing you should totally go for it and then treat yourself with a nice hot spring bath after. I had considered doing that today, but I decided because I just came back from Ali San, I'm like natured out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take it easy today. And also because the resort that I want to go to, I read that there's like a ton of different selections of pools and also like mud facials and stuff like that so I want to be able to like fully immerse myself and appreciate all the amenities and hopefully take you guys with me but first things first I'm gonna eat some breakfast I got a hash brown pancake today also I look really swollen for some reason I don't know why So the bus that I'm taking around Guanzilin is only available on weekends and it only runs every hour. So you gotta time your things really well. Also, I thought it was freaking hilarious. The English translation for this place. So in Chinese it's called Shui Ho Tongyuan. The English translation on the stop was Fountain of Flame. You're <laughs> here at the entrance they also do have a parking lot because most people drive here on the bus over it was actually really nice because you can look out the windows and see a like really nice view of the place we drove around so like it was like overhead look all around so that was pretty cool <sighs> nature so much nature this trip let's go That's fun. <laughs> now I'm going to walk to the temple, which was technically the next stop on the bus, but the bus, like I said, only comes every hour. So I have 30 minutes before it makes its another loop. And honestly, there wasn't much there to see, except for the fire, which we saw. It was cool. And then a tourist group came, so it got crowded. So I left. Google Maps says it's like a 15 minute walk. Let's see if it's right. And it said it was relatively flat. So here's to hoping. To give you an idea of how small and removed this place is, there is no 7-Eleven at all here. 7-Elevens are 
everywhere in Taiwan, like literally around every single corner. It's like, think of like Starbucks in New York. You know how there's one like every three blocks? That's 7-Eleven here. Crazy, right? Crazy. Okay. I'm gonna focus on walking now because I'm on the road. Heh. <laughs> You guys have to check out this view. Can you imagine if it wasn't so cloudy? You'd be able to see so far. I don't know, I must be like super tired these days because I've been on the road for like five days straight. But my like eyes keep on twitching. But I'm getting enough sleep, I feel like. I'm getting like seven hours and I don't feel like especially tired when I wake up. I don't know. I'm gonna be settling down again after tomorrow. So hopefully my body won't be dead. And I'll have time to edit again because I've been slacking on that. All the good places are hidden inside, meaning harder to get to. Yeah, need to figure out how long it'll take for me to get back to the bus stop because that's a little bit of a trek. At least it's downhill for the most part. No one seems to hold me like you do. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. They still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you It's so cool It's a little light electric therapy bath So there are like these white um, Or these plates where you sit in front of And then it just shocks you It's like a slight massage I feel So lucky I met you and I Okay, but this is the coolest. Look at this. My facials. Oh my god. Different effects that they have. Um, this whole area is like a massage area. Beauty dance spa. And then these are like body shaking machines. This place is intense. I'm glad that they had that map of okay, section of where to go, what to do in what order because honestly I would be so like confused. Also I am using a shower cap yes because I don't have a swim cap and it is required in public baths to have your hair up in a swim cap so therefore I am using a shower cap. So lucky I met you spend my whole life waiting for someone like you baby and all these broken roses led me I feel so lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky. And I feel so lucky I met you. I just finished the hot spring. I could have stayed there forever. There are so many pools, right? So you can just like go back and forth, back and forth between them. It was really fun with all the different types of experiences, I feel like. It is more expensive than most hot springs. Um, but I did also read online that it is like 100 NT cheaper on weekdays and like not holiday days. Originally, I was planning on maybe, you know, shelving this trip and maybe wait until I have like 
other friends that I can group together. We can rent a car or book a taxi together to come out. But I decided to come out on the Saturday anyways because I realized that this, the tourist shuttle was running and I'm so glad that I did. And also the resort wasn't that busy for a Saturday either. There were definitely people there, right? But it wasn't like super duper packed that it was uncomfortable. If you're solo traveling, backpacking, want to use public transportation, weekend is definitely better even if the resort is more expensive. But if you have your own way of transporting yourself here and like getting around here, then by all means come on a weekday because then you probably would have like the whole facility to yourself. And also it would be 100 NT cheaper, which is a lot. Um, and that would make it more comparable to other hot springs around. So. Yeah, I'll link all of the transport information in the description box below. I've really grown fond of using the bus shuttle's official website actually to check their times because it's just so much more reliable than Google Maps. Google Maps has misled me so many times, but then recently it's been okay. So maybe I should trust it again. Hope you enjoyed this. I had fun. It was really relaxing. It was really fun to go to a mud spring. I do feel like my skin is a little bit softer and silkier. But anyways, I will see you guys next week. Bye!